The story begins as we are introduced to two friends, Yasumi and Yuhi, who were put in the same class at the same high school. On this radio show, they bring the classroom atmosphere to the listeners. Yuhi praises Yasumi for delivering the opener as well as always. While she's not used to the radio, Yasumi claims to be struggling because it still feels so weird and hard to get used to. Yuhi and Yasumi are in the same class at the same high school. The two voice actresses ended up in the same class by pure coincidence, which they find amazing, as if it was fate for them to be together. We are then cut back to a few months ago, before the two characters even met. In the evening, Yasumi watches her anime show again to see how she performed. She wishes for more name recognition and opportunities in her industry. Yasumi, an idol voice actress, works with Chaco Brownie and has been in the business for three years. This is her public persona, but in private, she is Yumiko, a girl who prefers loose clothes and jewelry, a complete contradiction to her professional image. When she goes public for work, she hides this side of herself because people expect innocence and purity from idol voice actresses. Even though she pretends to be this character, almost no one knows her true self. She keeps failing auditions. One morning, a classmate greets Yumiko and asks her what's up. Yumiko admits that she feels a bit down, so the classmate offers her a drink, which she finds to be good. Other than Yumiko's family and teachers, nobody knows she's a voice actress. Her manager also insisted that she never tells anyone. A male classmate pulls out a poster of Yuhi, the famous voice actress. Yumiko panics as this is another person in her industry, although still a complete stranger to her. Yumiko is worried that the classmates might uncover her secret. The classmate explains who Yuhi is, she is only in her second year and already a rising star in the voice actress world. He prefers girls like her who are just getting started. A female classmate giggles at this, but Yumiko doesn't react. Another classmate, Chika, walks by, and Yumiko's friend accidentally spills coffee at her feet. She introduces herself as Watanabe Chika. She sees a poster of herself on the classmate's table and isn't pleased. None of the classmates actually know that Chika is the girl on the guy's poster, Yuhi. The classmates think of Chika as a plain girl, the kind that makes you go, oh yeah, I guess she's in our class. She's always alone, and they've never seen her talk to anyone. The classmate apologizes for spilling the coffee and says she will clean it up immediately. Chika is annoyed by this and walks out of the classroom. Yumiko goes after her and tells her to stop. She knows it was totally the classmate's fault, but it's not cool to cop an attitude when someone's apologizing. Chika finds it annoying. Rather than the spilled coffee, she was bothered by the guy obsessing over a voice actress. She can't understand what's so exciting about her. Yumiko is confused by what Chika is talking about. Chika complains that the woman is supposed to be a voice actress, but she also sings, dances, and pretends to be an idol. Chika finds it annoying to watch people obsess over her. Yumiko counters, claiming that Yuhi is actually very cute, and yes, her looks are a selling point, but what's wrong with that? She has more than just looks, her acting and singing are excellent, and she's pretty to boot. That's why she's so popular. Chika blushes and tells Yumiko that she doesn't know why she's upset with Yuhi, but she would rather not deal with her again. Yumiko's manager calls to tell her she landed the next job. Excited, Yumiko asks what role she got. Later, she reflects on how Yuhi is an idol voice actress in her second year of high school, just like her. However, that's where their similarities end. While Yuhi has been steadily booking jobs, Yasumi is falling further and further behind. She wonders if they will ever mesh later and work together. Her boss apologizes for calling her in so suddenly. The new April show flopped unexpectedly, so he quickly put together a new script. He wants her to work with Yuhi. The boss asks if she has met Yuhi yet, and Yasumi claims she hasn't, never having been on a project with her. The boss reveals something big they have in common. When he found out, it really surprised him, so much that he immediately drafted this project proposal. He accidentally discovered, while talking to her manager, that they are classmates. At that moment, Yuhi walks into the studio, and both Yasumi and Yuhi are shocked. What are you doing here? Yuhi exclaims. Yasumi wonders the same thing. The real them already know each other, and it's time to let the cat out of the bag. Yasumi and Yuhi are classmates, and not only that, they are both high schoolers attending the same school. A voice actress radio show with that premise is going to be a hit. Yasumi can't believe that Yuhi, the famous voice actress, is also her new radio show partner. The same goes for Yuhi, who can't believe they are working together now. 
It becomes quite awkward between the two, and Yumiko breaks the ice by asking Chika if she really is the voice actress Yuhi. Yumiko's image of her is so far removed from the real thing. Chika claims that Yumiko is also a different person during work, she can't believe this is Yasumi. Yumiko claims to have been doing this for three years, while Chika has only been in it for two years. Perhaps Chika should learn how to speak to her senpai properly. While this is only her second year voice acting, Chika has had more success than Yumiko, making her a veteran of four years, so she will turn that right back at her. The two argue with each other until another girl, Mirai, steps in. She apologizes for being late. It's been a while since they worked together on a show, so she invites Yasumi to come over to her house again. Yasumi doesn't mind, but Mirai's house is very dirty. She should call once the place is decent. This is Mirai. She's been appointed as the writer for this show. Chika looks forward to working with her. They are given the script for the first episode, and they'll do something different. They will get to know each other, and it will go something like this. One question, one answer. The first question is about their favorite anime. Yasumi answers first, saying it is magician Priya. She likes it so much she dreams about being in it. Yuhi finds that absurd, so Yasumi tells her no one asked her. Now it's Yuhi's turn to answer, and she says mechas and robots. Yuhi is asked what she likes about the show. If she had to pick one thing about Iron Galdra, it would be the intricacy of the mecha designs. The main character is so beautiful that she psychs when she sees it. As the show goes on, Yuhi says it feels like she and Yasumi were fated to be together. Yasumi begrudgingly agrees. The show is then interrupted by a big announcement. It's revealed that Yuhi and Yasumi's high school radio will be doing a public recording during standby. Yuhi complains that she hasn't heard anything about this. Why didn't they tell her about this up front? Mirei claims it's not uncommon to have surprise announcements about the project during a recording session. As they're done with recording for today, Yuhi intends to leave immediately. Mirai wonders what's wrong with Yuhi, but Yasumi has no clue. She can't tell what Yuhi is thinking about at all. Mirai asks how Yuhi is at school, and Yasumi tells her that Yuhi, or with her real name Chika, is a girl who doesn't talk at all and sits quietly in the corner of the classroom. She's gloomy. By the conversations they had while recording, Mirai can't feel that Yasumi and Yuhi are classmates, feeling like she's missing something there. She won't go as far as to tell them to be friends, but maybe they should try getting to know each other a little bit more during the lunch break. At school during the lunch break, Yuhi immediately leaves the classroom, and the classmates wonder what's wrong with her. Yumiko excuses herself, claiming she's got to do something. She follows Chika to the bench in front of the school where she is having lunch. Normally, Chika doesn't care what people think, but it appears that even she doesn't want to be seen eating by herself. Chika agrees with that. She explains she's only using her free time this way because she has nothing better to do at school, believing it's best if she can manage to be both a voice actress and a regular student at the same time. She asks Yumiko why she came all the way out here. Yumiko answers she thought she should get to know Chika better. Their show doesn't really feel like two classmates talking. Chika immediately realizes that Mirai told her to do that, but then agrees that it could be a good thing to talk about on the show how they like to eat together. When they go to film the radio show, Yasumi sees Yuhi looking completely different in her outfit. But Yuhi says the same thing about Yasumi, noting that this kind of transformation is absurd. Yasumi remembers earlier that Mirai had told her Yuhi seemed really nervous for some reason. So Yasumi asks Yuhi if this is her first time recording publicly. Yuhi answers that it is. She admits she doesn't understand the appeal of her public image. She can't sing and doesn't showcase her acting, so she doesn't understand how people can value her. Yuhi confesses she's been presenting a fake version of herself all this time. She hates the character she portrays, this completely fake idol voice actress. But that is what the audience wants. She doesn't know what she's supposed to do. Yasumi tells her that her worries are completely pointless. It doesn't matter to the audience that Yuhi might have doubts about herself. Yuhi is a pro, and as a pro, it is enough just to worry about whether her audience goes home thinking, Yuhi was so amazing today. I had so much fun. If Yuhi is really worried, she should watch as Yasumi stands next to her. When she realizes she's not alone, things should get easier, though Yasumi admits she might not be reliable enough for Yuhi. They should go now and record the show. There's a big audience waiting for them outside. What could Yuhi be worried about with this friendly audience there? Yuhi tries to tell herself that everything's fun, just like Yasumi said. It's totally cool. They enter the room, but at that moment, Yuhi trips and falls. Yasumi calms her down, telling her the audience is not something to be afraid of, 
it's what gives her courage. Yasumi greets everyone and tells them right off the bat that Yuhi was so nervous that she tripped, so everybody should cheer her on. With that, they kick off the public recording of Yuhi and Yasumi's high school radio. If you enjoyed this recap, make sure to check out the next one on your screen. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Goodbye.